the schus of our learning should be a protection and a for everyone that needs. 112a, right? Exactly on the top. The Mesukar Vlemashiyadi. Someone that does bloodletting. So it's over here from the shoulder. And he doesn't wash his hands afterwards. Mafchid Shivayami. He'll be afraid for seven days. Because the Gemara is going to say he's not going to know what he's afraid of. He'll just be overcome with the fear. The Shakal Mazi will emashiyadi. If he gets a haircut, he doesn't wash his hands. Mafchid Plasim. He'll be afraid for three days. The Shakal Tufre will emashiyadi. He cuts his nails uh, and he doesn't wash his hands. Mafchid Chadim. He'll be afraid for a day. Basically, you have to wash your hands after a haircut and nails and bloodletting. <laughs> If you're going to do that, and he won't know what he's afraid of. Yada uh, Usya. His hands are on his lip, right, right beneath his nose, his mustache area, or on his nostrils, maybe. Darga That's the way. That's a step or the ladder towards becoming afraid. Yeah, let me see if I have controls. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yada Apusa, his hand is on his forehead. Good morning. We're on 112. Yada Apusa Dargalashimsa. That's the way to fall asleep. Let me just think about this, right? You go like this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Tana, we start in a brisa. Echlinu mashkin tachas amita, food and drink under the bed. I feel a mechup mekli barzel, even if it's covered with iron, you know, iron uh, um, covering. Ruch rasher aleim, evil spirit is on it. Yeah, <laughs> you do about the plane. Put your things underneath. The guy in front of you falls asleep. So um, yeah, I don't know. I I I did see once a letter from the Rebbe Rashab who was writing to someone that he had cigarettes that were under the bed. He was asking if it applied to cigarettes. Now Dr. Stein's going to say, of course, <laughs> no good. <laughs> okay, Tanur Abanan. Yeah, I I I was told the grow was very mocked about uh, food under the bed. Okay, Tanar Abanan, Le Yishta de Mayam, Le Beleli, Vivies, Le Beleli Shabbosis. Wednesday night, as we're going to learn later today, when, and I'm not Wednesday night, Tuesday night, which is Wednesday, and Friday night, the demons have a little more access. They, they roam around more as people are home. So, why are they on Tuesday night? I think because they go to the market Sunday night. I think I saw this. They go to the market Sunday night because, so that they, they're traveling Sunday night. They should be able to be at the market for Monday morning. Then Monday night, they go home. Now, Wednesday night, they do the same thing for to be at the market for Thursday. And then Thursday night, they go home. So the whole week, they're really traveling except for Tuesday night. So Tuesday night and Friday night, those are the days and there's no reason to travel. Anyway, at that time, the demons are out. Uh, you shouldn't drink water. Mamish, no water. What are you supposed to do? The Gemara is going to ask. So, Vim Shasa, and if he does drink, Dame Baresha Sakana is responsible for his own death, for his own blood. Sakana, uh, because of the danger. My Sakana, what's the Sakana? It says Rachra. Evil spirit. Vim tachi. What if he's thirsty? Maitakanti. What should he do? So lema or nema. Shiva kaila shamar David alamayim. You should say the seven voices that David said. This is um uh, twenty nine uh, over the water. V'hada nishti and then he should drink. Shnemar kala shamalamayim. The voice of Hashem is over the water. Kela covered hear him. The the um, honorable uh, God thunders. Hashem alamayim rabim. The voice of Hashem is with strength, with splendor, breaks cedars. 
the cedars of Hashem, the voice of Hashem breaks the cedars of Lebanon. Kol Hashem chaytz of lavi seish forms the the uh, flames of fire. Kol Hashem yachol midbar makes the desert tremble. Yachol Hashem midbar kadesh kol Hashem mechil layolis causes the ayolis to give birth. Vayachsef yaris this means it's it um yachsef strips uh, makes makes white strips the forest. Bechalikul ayam kavod and and in his chamber, they say honor. So that's what you say, and then you can drink. Vilai, but if you can't remember that. <laughs> so, Neymahachi, you should say the following. This is going to be easier. Lul, Shafan, Anigran, Anirdafan. Those are names of demons in you, or spirits. You call to them, I guess, so you say those names. Ben Kuchve Yasivna. I sit amongst the stars. I walk between skinny and fat people, which means that you have other people that you could uh, harm and just leave me alone. If you want the skinny ones, there's skinny ones. If you want the more plump, there's more plump also. But leave me, you could leave me alone. If you can't remember that one. If there's someone else there and you're thirsty, we're talking about... it's. Um, it's Tuesday night or Friday night. If there's someone else there in Atari, wake him up. You should say to him, bar maya. So-and-so, son of so-and-so is thirsty for water. I guess you insert your name, I guess. And then you drink. And if that, you can't do that, there's no one there. So Makarkish Nachtama Achatzva, he banged the, um, the cover onto the jug. And then you can drink. So that sounds like an easier solution. V'ilai, and if you can't do that, so nishte b'amidi v'ad nishte, you throw something into it, and then you and then you drink. I don't know what it what it means. You throw into it. I don't know, a stone, some sort of uh, fruit, maybe. I don't know. Tanur Abanan, start in a brisa. L'yishta d'mayim midleimen on a haris leimen agam and belaila. This sounds logical. Don't drink. Uh, water from the rivers or from the meadows at night. You don't know what's going on in there. And if you do, there's a danger. My sakana, what is the danger? Sakana shaviri, shaviri is blindness. If he's thirsty, what should he do? Should say so and so, the son of so and so is thirsty for water. And if you don't do that or you don't remember, my mother said to me, is Dharmi Shaviri, that I should be careful from Shaviri, which is, I guess, the, it means blindness, but it's, I guess, the demon that rules over blindness. Now, what you do is you say, I'm thirsty for water and white in a white jug. You, you um, cut down the name of this Shavriri step by step as if it's uh, weakening it. And then it loses its power, then you can drink the water. Okay, we said that you give to every person four cups of wine. This person shouldn't eat before Mincha, before Mina Mincha, Samach La Mincha. On Erev Pesach, and then we said that you have to give him four cups of wine, even if he's, even if he's, um, every person has to have four cups of wine, even if he's getting from the Tamche. Tamche is like a soup kitchen. Where's his pshita? Of course, if that's what he needs, so then that's what we're obligated to supply him with. It says, We're going according to Rabbi Akiva, and that's why it's necessary, because Rabbi Akiva's opinion, I could have thought that this, that you don't supply him with the four cups of wine. Because Rabbi Akiva said, we had this before in Shabbos. Say Shabbat Chachol v'atetzarech l'bris. Better to make your Shabbos into a weekday and not to take money from other people. So you have a regular uh, weekday meal. Yeah. Rabbi Levitansky, Allah Shalom, told me that um, before I went on Shlichus, I asked Rabbi Korf, what's, what's, uh, what's it like on Shlichus? So Rabbi Korf, senior, Rabbi Avram Korf. So Rabbi Korf told him, 
Baruch Hashem, so far, Shabbos hasn't gone by that I wasn't able to afford sardines. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he, if he was thrilled about that. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about uh, it's got 50, 60 years ago. So, anyway. So I say Shabbat Chol about the Tzarech Labias. So here, Hacham Yishem Pursumi Nisa. But here, Pursumi Nisa, you want to. Um, uh, it's funny that it's called Pursumi Nisa. You want to drink the four cups of wine to show uh, the miracle that we were saved. So even though normally for Shabbos you just have the sardines, but um, but no, here you take money for the for the cups of wine. Yeah, I said um, uh, Rabbi Shachat explained this, that um, the Rosh, he said that your obligation to, to, uh, to spend money for Shabbos is to spend your own money, not someone else's money. So that's a say Shabbat Chachal. Anyway, okay. Tana or Maida. You shouldn't be Maida. That's what it should be. Tana de Be'eliyah was taught in the house of Eliyahu. Even though Rabbi Kiva said that you should make your Shabbos into a weekday and not come on to other people. But you still do something. What should you do? Fried fish. A small fish that was fried in its own oil. There you go. Like the sardines. You have the small fish. That's what you should do for Shabbos. I guess what it means is that you save from every uh, day a little bit till you can, uh, uh, you cut down a little bit, you should be able to have for Shabbos. Kedetanan, as we start in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yudah ben Teim Aimer. Rabbi Yudah ben Teim says, I don't remember Rabbi, I just remember Yudah ben Teim. Do you remember what, if it said, I'm not person? In fact, you have us. Did it say Rabbi Yehuda ben Tema? Anyway, he says, that one, uh, can emmer, you should be as bold as a leopard. That means, what we're trying to say over here is that you should go uh, with extra strength to be able to have the food for Shabbos. That's, that's why we're bringing this down. The Kal and light as an eagle, swift as a deer, Giber Kari, strong like a lion, to do, do the will of your father in heaven, which means extra effort to be able to have food for Shams. Something special. Here it says, uh, the Rashbam says, Rabbi Shua ben Karcha, who ben Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva says, tells his son, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Shua ben Karcha. How is it Rabbi Shua ben Karcha if it's really Rabbi Shua ben Rabbi Akiva? How do you get a different name of his father if his father is Rabbi Akiva? So he quotes the Gemara that said that Ben Azai or Ben Zayim, I think Ben Azai said that all of the sages of Israel are compared to in front of me like the peel of a garlic, except for this Kireach, except for this bald one. I was referring to Rabbi Akiva who was bald. So Rabbi Akiva is called bald. So Rabbi Shua ben Karcha. Is the uh, Rabbi Shua, the son of the bald, is the son of Rabbi Akiva. So Rabbi Akiva tells his son, Rabbi Shua, Al don't sit in a the, in the high part of the city and study. I guess he's supposed to study at home or in, or in the base madras. I guess he can learn outside, but there's something wrong with studying in a, in a public place. Don't live in a city that the leaders are Talmid Chachamim. Yeah, B'nai Brak. <laughs> I don't know if that's what's going on over there. But um, what's the problem? The problem is, is that they're going to be too busy, uh, too busy learning, and they won't take care of what's necessary. Or, or people would hate them for whatever reason, and then people are just going to hate Talmid Chachamim, which that's not a good thing either. So... That's, that's not a good place. Yeah. Don't enter your house suddenly. Why? The family, your wife, is, may, may be doing something. That's private. 
You don't want to uh, shock her or, uh, or suddenly come in and intrude. Koshkin lebeis chaver for sure, not to your uh, friend's house. If they knock first, they open the door. Bal timna minalim miraglecha. Don't withhold shoes from your feet. Gemara talks about a um, person should sell everything that he has. Shabbos of Kufchov Tes Rashbam quotes. Everyone, a person should sell everything that he has in order to buy shoes. Yeah, the Gemara encourages uh, to buy good shoes. Hashkim v'achol b'kayetz mechama b'cher p'netzina. Wake up early and eat in the summer because of the heat. It's going to get too hot. I guess you lose your appetite. So eat early. And then in the winter, you should eat, eat early because of the cold. <clears throat> and you should make your Shabbos into a weekday and not to come on to, to, to other people. You should try to get close to someone that's doing that's being successful. Uh, yeah, the guy in Dr. Stein's um, picture. So Amar Rav Papa, Rav Papa says, what this means is, don't buy from him. And don't sell to him. Become his partner. You see, if you're going to buy from him, this guy has great luck. So you're going to buy from him, he's going to get the better end of the deal. You're going to sell to him, he's going to get the better end of the deal. So don't do any of those transactions. Don't be on the other side. You should be his partner. However, Rav Shumbar it says, Ben Eir, it says that you bless the work of his hand. It says, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yitzchak says, It's not just to be his partner. Any business transaction is going to be successful. Right? It's not you against him anymore. It's everything that he touches turns to gold. <laughs> so you should uh, do business with him. Five things Rabbi Akiva tells Rabbi Shimon Ben when he is in prison. Yeah, I guess we assume this is at the end, right? It's when they, uh, he was uh, arrested for teaching Taira. Amalai Rabbi, Lamdeni Taira. says, Rabbi, teach me Taira. Amar, any Malamedcha, I can't teach you. If you're not going to teach me, I'm going to tell I'm going to tell my father, and he's going to give you over to the government. He must have had some connections. And now he's arrested already, so I don't know how much worse it can get. So, No, you don't understand. It says, I want to teach more than you want to learn. More than the calf wants to nurse, the, the, the cow, the mother, wants to, wants to nurse, wants to give. Who has the danger over here? You're already arrested. The only danger is for me. And uh, I guess, uh, don't worry about me. I guess that's what he's saying. This is, a, he, this is when he's starting to teach him. He says, if you want to get choked, hang on a big tree. Now, it's possible that he was teaching him something, some Torah here, but he, wa- he didn't want the, um, the, the people to, to understand. So he just said it in, uh, like with a metaphor. What it means is, if you want people to accept your words, your your Tyra, then you should study by a great person and say over things in his name. So hang yourself on a big tree is like a great teacher. Now, what the word lechanik means is probably the opposite. It's probably what it means is if you want to be um, heard or spoken about, or things should be said over, and then you should say things over in the name of a great teacher. When you're teaching your son, use a correct version. Use a, use a, use a good text. What is this referring to? 
Amarava became Ramashashi Bechadata. That's coming when you're talking about when you're studying something new for the first time, a new topic. You're teaching children, starts to learn for the first time. The problem is Shabeshta, Kivan the Al, Al. Once a mistake enters in, it's entered in. It's hard to get rid of those mistakes. Yeah, I forget there was a mistake in one of the in the old Chabad Siddur. I forgot what it was when they reprinted it. <laughs> um, it was a, a hay in the chas. I forget what the word was, but I remember my younger brother was uh, was telling me you read it wrong because you're always using the old Siddur. <laughs> The, the the hay was too close to the uh, to the top. It looked like a chest. So anyway, shabesh to kim If there's a mistake, it, it's hard to, to to get rid of it. Don't cook in a pot that your friend cooked in. My Neo, what is this referring to? Grusha b'chayi baila. It's talking about a divorced woman while her husband is still alive, while her ex is still alive. Damar mar grusha shenasa. If a divorced man marries a divorced woman, there's four um, four thoughts in the bed. What that means is that each one is thinking about their ex. Now, um, the the woman could be divorced against her will, so it could be that she still is. Um, is thinks fondly of her first uh, of her first husband, even though he divorced her. But um, <laughs> could be she didn't want to get divorced. Uh, the garish, um well, he can he can't be divorced against as well. But he divorced her anyway. Whatever the case is, they're they're thinking about their um, their previous previous marriages. Now there's a problem with this because really. Um, during intimacy, you're not supposed to have thoughts of anyone else. So this is not uh, this is not a good thing. Be by yisema, and if you want, you could also say that I feel a even if it's a widow. because the male organ is different in every person, and it could be that she's uh, she appreciated her first husband more than her second husband. Mitzvah the guf gadol. What's a mitzvah? And a good goof um, cuddle means a big body. Uh, it means um, to have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of rewards. What should you do? Eichel peres v'leischar. When you lend money, you can take um, the fruits of the of the borrower's field and don't take payment. And that way, slowly you collect it back. You collect the money back and it's not it's something that would be easier for the borrower to do you just slowly slowly you just eat those fruits and uh and you don't he doesn't have to lay out the money for you mitzvah of a guftar what's a mitzvah in a pure body to get married then i'm not sure it means even when he has children or he'll merit to have children i'm not sure what it means okay Rabbeinu HaKadosh es Banov. Four things, Rabbeinu HaKadosh, means Rabbi Yudha Anasi, uh, commanded his, his sons. Al Tadr B'Shach Don't live in Shach Nitziv. Uh, why not? Mishum Delitzani Havi, Yomash Chalach Belitzinusa. There are a bunch of comedians, and they're gonna, they're jokers. They're gonna draw you in to their, to their um, Litzanas. I don't think it really means jokes. I think it means that they were um, uh, immodest. You know, al mita Aramis. Don't sit on the bed of uh, Aramis of a shiksa. Ikadamri. What some say. What does this mean? Leitigni b'lekriyshma. That means don't go to bed without saying shema. <laughs> That's like a uh, goyish bed. You have to say shema first. Goyim don't say shema. So. Um, you have to say Shema before you go to bed. Some say that that means don't marry a convert, a woman that's a convert. Now, the explanation for this could be is that you have to be extra careful when you marry a convert, not to hurt their feelings and uh, uh, whatever, you know, things that you say could be uh, upsetting to them. So 
if you marry them, you're going to be much more at risk of, uh, of saying the wrong thing. Some say it actually means don't sit on a, on a, on a bed of a aramis, of a, of a shiksa, of a non-Jewish woman. Because of the story of Rav Papa. What happened with Rav Papa? Rav Papa borrowed, um, I'm sorry, Rav Papa lent money to a woman. And when he came to collect it, came into the house, she uh, had, the woman had um, choked her, her son, baby, put him under the bed and told her papa to sit. And, and I'm going to go get you the money. When she comes out, she starts yelling at him that he killed, uh, it was a libel. You know, she starts yelling at him that he killed uh, uh, the baby. And he, Rav, Rav Papa had to run away. He wasn't able to collect the money. And he was accused. So don't sit on a bed of a non-Jew. Yeah, we had a, a cleaning lady once. Her name was Aramis. I, I don't know how told <laughs> who told her to, you know, it's like so perfect. But, okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's not nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, I'll tell you how to run away from the taxes, tax evasion. Maybe they'll catch you. I, I, I think there's more reasons than that, but okay. Maybe they'll catch you and they'll take everything. Okay. Don't stand in front of an axe when it's coming out of the meadow, the marsh, because the satan is dancing between its horns. Now, Rashbam says that just means that it's wild. Wild comes up from there somehow, for whatever reason, it's wild. And Amar Rab Shmuel, Rab Shmuel says, Bishor Shachab Yemi Nisan. He's talking about a black ox and it's in the days of Nisan. How appropriate, right? The first day of Nisan. Um, I saw uh, Rabbi Steinzelt says that it's, that um, it may be referring to a water buffalo. And I didn't know they had water buffaloes over there. But whatever the case is, um, apparently, it's very wild, even though they would use it for plowing and whatever. But uh, but it's a it's, it's a wild animal. People get hurt. Tani Ravashia, Ravashia taught Marchikin Mishartam Chamishamama. You stay away from a tame ox, fifty feet, fifty cubits. Mishar Mood Kumlayenov, and a Shar Mood, one that gored three times already, as far as you can see. Tani Mishmeid Rabbi Meir, a mayor taught. In the name, it was said in the name of Reb Meir, Rish Tura Bidikula. Even if the the head of the ox is in the in the in the bucket eating, so it knows it's like distracted from you, it's busy. Sakli Igra, go up to the roof, Vishadi Daga Mitutsach, and throw away the ladder. I mean, that's how you uh, you should stay away from the from an ox. Amar Rav, Rav says, Nizid the Tura. If you want to get um, uh, uh, an ox to move, you say, hein, hein. That's how you, you like prodded along. Hein, hein. You're like, uh, giddy up, giddy up, right? <laughs> so, nizadaaye, what do you do for a lion? How to get it to move? You say, ze, ze. Okay, nizadagamla, what do you say for a camel? Da, da. Nizadaarba, what do you say for a, um, for a boat, I guess it means while you're pulling or pushing. So Hilni, hey, Hila, Hila, Julio. <laughs> Julio is the sailor. No, the, those are just, um, I don't know. I don't know what this means. I, I have no clue. Okay. Amarabaya. Kul Amarabaya. Ar, Dag, Keshamen, Beitzim, Ekinim, Levainim. Levanim, kulam kashan davarachem. Hide, 
fish, hot water, uh, eggs, uh, white lice are all dangerous for leprosy. We, we, uh, today, when we talk about uh, we don't want to say cancer, we don't say, we say yenamachla, that disease, we don't want to say the name. So in those days, they said yenamachla for, uh, for leprosy, to, uh, that disease, I don't want to mention the name. Or what is this with a high? What is what is what does this have to do with Mandagani Amishka de Tsala? Someone that sleeps on the tanner's hide, that means it's untanned yet. And he's he lays on it as a mat. So that's Kushan for Tsaras. Dag, what is a fish? Shibuta Biaminisan, a second time today, right? Shibuta fish in the days of Nisan. I am not sure what's going on. I don't know what's wrong with the Shibuta fish. Um, but uh, I just know that a shibuta fish tasted like pig. Right, right, shibuta. What does it say? Remember the Gemara Chulin Yalta told Rav Nachman, I'd like to taste uh, milk and meat. And she introduced that by all of the things that the Torah prohibits. Um, uh, it also has something that's uh, a kosher way of getting it. How do you have pig? You can have the shibuta fish. But milk and meat, how can you have? And the, Rav Nachman gave her the udder, which has the udder is the meat and it has uh, the flavor of milk. Okay. So, this apparently, this fish is not healthy in the days of Nisan. Kais, what does it mean, the cup? Shiri Kaisa the Hasna, the Harsana. What's left over from that fish that we said before that you have for Shabbos, if, that's, if you don't have anything, at least you have Kasa the Harsana. What's left over from that is not good for probably the oil, is not good for tzaras. Chamen, hot water. Chamimei de chamimei mishadru ilavei. Someone that pours hot water of himself, I guess it means too hot. He, he, his um, baths or showers are too hot. That's not good. Beitzim, man klipin. Someone that steps on eggshells. Yeah, yeah, we, we know about nails, not to step on nails. They were saying that um, Eggshells are also not good for uh, to step on for tzaras. Yeah, what was that Mendy Pellin's thing with the? Uh, he was making fun. He said we're closing Kingston Avenue because someone dropped a nail, and we're searching the whole street. <laughs> anyway, okay. Kinem levanim, white lice. Man de mechava levusha v'le natle timnaya yaimei v'hada lavash le bayan. Hanach kinim, the kashan davarache. I guess after they would wash their clothing, they would leave it for eight days and then they would wear it. This guy doesn't wait. I think the um, the lice, they can't just live on clothing. They need to be able to to, to get their nourishment from uh, from some blood somewhere. They have to, you know, poke in and, and suck some blood. So uh, if it's just in a, on, a, on a garment, and you don't wear it for eight days, the lice are going to die over there. So you have, you're supposed to wash it and wait. Wait for it to die. I think today they tell you put it in the freezer or something. Uh, something um, in a Ziploc. So uh, this guy doesn't wait. So it causes those lice. And then, the, and then I guess somehow that causes Saras. Maybe the, uh, the germ theory. Amar of Papa. Papa says, based this Beshunra lay nail by Inish by Lay Misani. You want to say something, Dr. Stein? I'm sorry, I can't keep up with you, but I want you to know the picture in the background actually is a Shibuta fish. It's from an, uh, a scientific article from 206 where they did all these studies and from the Gemara, this and that, I identified the fish is Barbus gripus. That's the genus species. Right. So it's not just a fish in my background. It is a shibuta fish uh, for whatever that's worth. Uh, All right, that, sorry. Uh, I, see, I see the fins. Does it have scales? Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can get out of the way. Hold on. That's yeah, the that's fish. It. All right. Yeah, so it's a kosher fish. Anyone that wants to taste the uh, pig. <laughs> Barbus gripus. This month, don't need it in Nissan. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, that reminds. Me. Don't forget the Nissan, right? Say this Nissan. So, anyone that has a cat, 
needs to wear shoes. Why? My time. Because the cat will kill a snake. And the snake has small bones. If one of those little bones enters into his foot, it's hard to get it out. The stock and lane, it's dangerous. So you should wear shoes in the house if you uh, have a cat. Some say, the less they should the lane, the the hekera. Uh, um, uh, uh, a house that doesn't have a cat you shouldn't walk around there in the dark my time or what's the reason maybe there's a snake there because if there would be a cat if there would be a cat it would eat the snakes now you don't have that protection yeah and the cats are good for that yeah, my father told me the cats in Israel, they had a lot of, they had a mice problem. So they ordered a boat of, uh, two, bo- two boats of um, cats to come from Europe to get rid of, but they only wanted either just male or just female, but they thought that was ridiculous. So they sent them male and female. So that's why there's uh, all the cats running around over there. Okay. Gimel Dvarim. Tziva Rabbi Shmuel Bar Abiyasi as Rabbi. Rabbi Shmuel Bar Abiyasi told, commanded, um, instructed Rabbi three things. Al tas mumba Don't cause a blemish in yourself. Mahi, what does that mean? Leisev lachdina bahadli tlasa. Don't um, don't make a, uh, a a judgment with three people. Is it there? Yeah. A class action. <laughs> Why? Uh, one is going to be the, your opponent, you know, the the, um, the litigant, and the other one is going to be, the, the other two are going to be witnesses, and they'll just say whatever whatever they want, because they're this pair, and they can just come up with whatever they want. So, yeah. Don't don't look at items to buy when you don't when you don't really have money to spend. Um, what's the issue here? Because other people see you looking at it and they won't um, they won't buy it. They say, "Oh, he was looking at it." Meanwhile, meanwhile, the seller could have sold it to the guy that was walking past. Also, it's a distraction. It gets the person uh, excited and really he had no intention. Your wife goes to the mikveh. Don't be intimate on the first, uh, the first night after the mikveh, that night. Rav says, this, this is talking about a nida deraisa. Nida deraisa means that they didn't wait seven clean days. <clears throat> so she was... Um, she, uh, she was menstruating for seven days straight. She goes to the mikveh that day, that night rather. So the, the blood could still, uh, could still come. Well, it, 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 it's, it's not really need the blood, it's ziva blood, but whatever the case is, she was just bleeding uh, earlier that afternoon. Because the spring was opened, so maybe it's going to turn into ziva. Yeah, there's a this must be saying something about how Nida and Ziva work. I thought it was supposed to close first and then it opens. Okay. Shleisha Dvarim Tziva Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yudas Rabbi. Rabbi Yaisi Rabbi Yudas instructed Rabbi three things. I'll take you a Belayla. Don't go out alone at night. I'll tamed it with Ne'er Aram. Don't stand naked in front of a candle. I'll take on a Slamercha Tzchada Shema Tifla. Don't go into a new bathhouse. The, the old, the Roman bathhouses they would have they would build a, a, a suspended floor and with, for the water, for the uh, basin that they would go in. And then underneath it, they would have a place that they could light the fire. So it would heat up the rocks, would heat up the rocks from the bottom. So if they haven't used it yet, <laughs> don't go in. You don't know if it's strong enough, right? It could collapse. Ad Kama, how long should you wait? I'm Rabbi Shoban Levi, I did this, say this. Wait 12 months. Wait for the bathhouse to be 12 months old before you use it. 
al tamid b'fnei ner aram. Don't stand naked in front of a candle. The Tanya, haimid b'fnei ner aram avi nechta. Someone that stands in front of a, a candle when he's naked could be ep- epileptic. Epilepsy. Uh, during relations, the lights need to be off. And someone that has relations with the, with the light on, with the candle, so then the, the children could be, uh, could be epileptic. I think it says that there should be, at least it should be covered, uh, the candle. Someone has relations on a bed that there's a child that's sleeping there. The child could have epilepsy. That's only if he's so young. He's under a year old. So he'll be um, harmed. He could be harmed by this. But once he's already a year, it's not a problem. He won't be harmed by this. That's only if he's by the feet. But if the baby is by the head, that's not a problem. And we only said that it was a problem if his hand isn't on, on him. But if, but if he puts his hand on it's sort of like a separation. So that would be okay as well. We said don't walk alone at night. The Tanya was talking to Bryce Lee. Don't go out at night. It's not on Tuesday night. Not on Friday night. Yeah, I guess they didn't have Shalom Zachers. Because there's this demon, her name is Igeris Bas Machlas. Machlas doesn't sound great. Um, Machlas sounds like illness. I don't know what Igeris means. Igeris. I'm not sure what it means. Igeris was like the nick in the night. I don't know. I'm not sure what it means. Uh, whatever the case is, this is the name. There's her name. Shmein Esrei Ribai. And there's 18, 10,000, 180,000 angels of destruction that go out. And each one of them could destroy. Originally, they were always out. However, one time they met with Rabbi Chanina ben Daisa, or she met, Igeris Bas Machlas. She said to him, he loved the machers on the love barakia. If they didn't announce in the heavens, he's Arab Khanina Vitirasa, he's Sakanta. If they didn't say, Beware of Khanina and his Tyra, I would have uh, I would have uh, harmed you. A Malay. So he says, Oh, if that's the case, Ichashivna Barakia. If they like me, if I'm important in heaven, Gazani Alakh Slaitab Yushav Leolam. I decree upon you you should never come into any inhabited areas. A Malay Bamatusmina. She said, please. Shvakli Rab Chapur to give me just a little, you know, just a little bit. Shavakli Leir Shabbos Leiris. He said, "Okay, you can have Friday night and uh, and Tuesday night." So uh, also Chadazimna one time Pagabe Babaya. She met up with Abaya. Abaya is a little later. Chinin Ben Daisa was one of the Tanaim. This Abaya is Amiraim. Amrlei. She said to him, he loved the machers of the If they didn't announce in the heavens, he's Arab be Nachmeni with Terasi. Be careful with Nachmeni. And then with his Torah, Havi Sakantech. I would have uh, put you in danger. Amalei, Yichashivna Berakia. If I'm important in heaven, Gazrani Alech Shleitavri Bishav Loilam. I decree upon you that you shouldn't come into the inhabited lands ever. If I'm important in heaven, so I made this decree. Now, the problem is, Achazim Dabra. But they do come. Amri Hani Gazaisa Ninu the Shanti Susya Vasu Dabalu. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I think what it means is that somehow the horses go to the side of the roads where there's not a lot of people, and somehow they they get the demons, the demons go on them over there or something. From this comment at the bottom of the page, we learn that. At least he thought these demons had free will. Right. Yeah, at least they're having conversations. Yeah. Yeah. What do we have here? Amalei. Amalei Rav Ravasi. Rav says to Ravasi, 
by Sadr Ramasa, the like son of Besusya. Don't live, live in a city that the, the, the horses don't neigh. They don't uh, bray, neigh, whatever it is. They don't make their noises. What's the problem? Uh, somehow that's some sort of protection when they when the horses make the sounds. Leinavach kalba, and the dogs don't bark. Asya. Don't live in a city that the uh, the mayor, the governor, the mayor is a doctor. You hear, Doctor Stein? Don't run for uh, for uh, office. <laughs> I guess you mean not to do that anyway. Not because of this gemara. <laughs> It's not a great job. Okay. Um, what's the problem? You're going to be busy. That's the problem. You'll be too busy with, uh, with, uh, with patients. So the, the city will get neglected. Latinsiv Tarti. Don't marry two women. Inasvis Tarti, Nasiv Tlas. If you marry two women, then marry a third. Now, the explanation for that is <laughs> make it once. Throw, you know, want to throw them all in? No. The uh, explanation is is that if these two are are scheming something against you, the third one will tell you uh, what they're doing. Yeah, the third is uh, the, the three three women together. It's not a good. Uh, they, if one gets left out, that's um, they'll they'll, uh, they'll they'll let you know what they're up to. Amalei Rav Rav the Rav Kana. Rav says to Rav Kana, Hapoich benevelta. Better to turn over a carcass, like tape of but don't um, turn over your promise. It's better. It's important to keep your word. Any job is better than no job. Skin a carcass in the market and and uh, and take payment. Don't say I'm a great man. I can't do that. I'm a I'm a Kayan. Uh, it's it's not uh, appropriate for me. No, any job is a good job. Salkis le igra shirusach padach. If you go up to the attic, go up to the roof, take your food with you. I'm not sure what that's referring to. Oh, yeah, Rashi tells is when you're going on a trip, even if you're going for a short trip, take your food with you. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Traffic. Yeah, you never know. They always take you chilling when you fly. And if you're coming back before, you never know. Well, someone said he was uh, hijacking the plane to the same place his luggage was going. <laughs> so, okay. Maya Kari Bimasa Bezuza. If there's a hundred pumpkins, um, in the city, cost one zoos, to say kenafech nehavi, put them under your 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 uh, shirt. In other words, to protect them. What this means is that even if the food is very cheap, don't mistreat it. Yeah, say ah, oh, there's so much. This is so cheap. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It's food, and it needs its uh, needs its respect. Amalei rav lechiyabere leitishti sama. Rav says to Chia's son, don't drink uh, potions of medicine, herbs or something. Ra very interesting ra uh, Rashba. I see it in the Rashi. Rashba is the same thing. You're going to get addicted. And then you're going to lose money. You hear? Sama. Don't have sam Sama. Yeah, I saw Knei Bison. Knei Bison was one of the herbs that went into the um, to the oil. Knei Bison was actually, according to one of the commentaries, it was cannabis. Knei Bison. Can cannabis. Knei Bison. Yeah, someone joked. They said that's what the high priest is. <laughs> so yeah, it's called the high priest. Okay. Valai. Um, the, the other shot over here is that don't, it's not the addiction aspect, but every herb 
or every medicine is good for one thing, but it's bad for another thing. So don't overdo it. It has, it has side effects. Don't overdo it. You think like, oh, this is going to solve everything. It's going to solve, it could solve this, but it would. Okay. Blaise Shaver Nigra, don't take big steps. I think that means don't jump over a pit, probably. Blaise Saker Kacha, don't take out, Kacha, I think, means molars. Don't pull your molars out. I think, uh, according to the Gemara, they think that the teeth can heal. And uh, don't just uh, do extractions every time there's a, uh, there's a pain. Leitikna Bechivya. It's good advice. Don't provoke a snake. Leitikna Barma. Don't provoke a non-Jew. Tana Rabbanan. Start in the Bryce Gimelain Miskanan Bem. There's three things that you shouldn't provoke. Beiluhain. And these are Nachri Katan. A young non-Jew. Nachash Katan. A young snake. Talmud Katan, a young, a young student. My timer, what's the reason? The Malchusaya Cheriod Nayokai, their authority, their Malchus, their authority is behind their ears. And when they grow up, they'll remember what you did, and then it's going to be trouble. Amalei Rav, Le'evu Brei, Rav says to Evu, his son, we see already two sons of Rav here, right? We saw we had Chia, now we have Evu. I tried to teach you Allah, but it didn't really work. Let me at least teach you the way of the world. The way of the world. While you still have the sand on your feet, quickly go and sell your items. In other words, you just made it into the city with your merchandise. Don't wash your feet and start relaxing and say, I'll sell it tomorrow. Go run right away to the market. This could be new items that could sell like really quick and uh, for a high price. By tomorrow, someone else, uh, the market could change. Everything that you sell, you may regret, but wine that you sell, you won't regret. The Telefonon. <laughs> Why? It goes bad. <laughs> You don't regret it. It's, you get rid of it. It's uh, uh, at least it didn't spoil by me. So, Shari Kisach, open your um, open your bag, open your wallet, sach sakich, and then open your sack. That means that you should take payment in advance. That's the, his his advice. Get the money first, and then you should supply. Kaba meyara v'lekura miyigra. Better to make small profits and stay at home, stay stay here, and not to make big prof profits and have to go to the roof. It's like to, risky to do, take risks, and um, to make more money. Tamra bechaluzach. If you have dates in the storage, lebe sudni rod, run to the uh, to the brewery to turn that into beer. Bad kama. How much should you keep? Only keep three, sir. The rest you should sell quickly because it could spoil also. Get it, run to the brewery to get it uh, sold. Papa says, If I didn't make beer, I wouldn't have become rich. If I didn't make beer, I wouldn't have become rich. My Sudna, what does it mean, Sudna? Sudna is a brewer <coughs> or the brewery. It's a good secret because you can make profit from beer. And then you can do because you can give money to, to the poor. Amar of Papa, call Agav. Anything that requires some sort of transaction, boy, you're going to need to get, um, gonna, it's going to need some collection. You're going to have to go through the efforts to, to collect that. Call Ashroi. Safikasi, Safik Layasi. Um, how do they translate Ashroi? Anything that's, that's uh, I think, given by um, on credit. It's a question if you're going to get the money. And when the money comes, it's not good money. Gimel Dvarim Amra Bechem Mishin Manchi Yerushalayim. 
there are three things that Rabbi Yechanan said in the name of the people of Yerushalayim. When you go out to battle, I'll take the British China. Don't go, don't be the first, the vanguard, right? Um, you go in the back. You should be able to return first. I think it also means return at all. That's the, uh, the advice. Like we mentioned before, um, don't borrow money, don't or don't uh, take money from the charity to to make Shabbos nicer. You can have a like weekday. Uh, and try to get close to people that their muzzle is shining. Okay, let's leave it over here.